Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. Today we are back at Games IRL, and man does it feel nice to be playing in person more regularly. I saw a lot of cool decks at I hadn't seen before, so I don't want to spoil too much. Also, have you heard the news? Your favorite CDH YouTube channel has released some cool merch. And if you're interested in picking up some sweet new apparel, come check us out. Also, if you like what you see, consider joining our Patreon, as with your help, we can keep producing the videos you enjoy. And if you want to play with us, hop on our Discord. We have an ever-growing community that loves to talk MTG or whatever else strikes our fancy. And we would love to meet new people. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Rob, who has brought Minx and Boo. This is actually a pseudo Voltron version of the list that focuses on growing and throwing Boo as a giant growth will draw you three extra cards, which is a pretty good deal. He utilizes fogs as a way to keep minks alive, while the hamster can grow to a massive size in a very short amount of time, and can really pressure other decks to prevent them from sitting back and assembling their combos. Definitely an interesting take, and something I really enjoyed seeing. Next up is Hidden Planet X, back on Atali, Primal Conqueror. Atali did really well last time, so Hidden decided to bring the dino back. This list actually comes from one of our Discord members, the Papa Squats, and I love jamming mana dorks, casting a very big dino, and stealing spells from my opponents. This is a Dockside Flicker combo list, as you can loop in the dino to cast and exile everything in your opponent's deck. And worst comes to worst, just flip your commander and win with a Blightsteel Colossus. In the third spot is Micah, playing Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. This is a mono green combo list. It aims to leverage Silvala's ability to generate lots of mana with big creatures. It has several redundant pieces to generate infinite mana. And when you start casting big things, Silvala helps you refill on cards. And with a variety of outlets, you can win out of nowhere. And bringing up the rear, we have Fernando piloting Najila. This is a five color Thassa's consultation list that backdoors into an infinite creatures and combats combo with Najila who even if just left alone can amass a horde of warriors to take their opponents out. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Rob starts off the game shocking into stomping grounds and uses it to cast an Orcus Lumberjack. Hidden has a forest and cast a Llanowar Elves. Fernando takes three when he taps his Tarnished Citadel for red to cast a Ragavan. Don't play a creature. Yeah. Micah surprisingly doesn't have a turn one dork and just plays a forest of his own. Rob also has a forest, which he taps for mana and then sacrifices to his lumberjack for 3 red. This lets him then cast his commander, Minxigan Boo, turn 2. The walker resolves and on ETB gains him a Boo token. He then upticks the walker to put 3 counters on the hamster and heads to combat. Boo turns sideways and Micah takes 4. Hidden plays a mountain and continues to ramp as he casts a Birds of Paradise. Fernando shocks in an overgrown tomb and uses it on a soul ring. He was going to bolt himself to play his commander, but decides to instead use the treasure off Ragavan as he heads to combat. He sends the monkey at Rob, who takes the hit and exiles a Rhythm of the Wild off the top of his library. Fernando actually likes the card and decides to delay Najila as he casts the enchantment instead. Micah has another forest and ends his turn with an emerald medallion. Rob plays a grove of the burn willows and upticks minx to crow boo. Rob wants the hamster even larger and casts a giant growth on him. He did have to tap the grove for green to do so, having everyone gain a life as he follows us up with a rancor on the hamster as well. Combat is then held and the mighty 1210 boo heads at Fernando, who takes the hit. Hidden plays a Crag Crown Pathway as Lan, and doesn't have much to do, as he casts a Manglehorn, who on ETV blows up the Soul Ring. Fernando plays and cracks a Flooded Strand, grabbing out a Volcanic Island. He follows this up with a Wild Growth on the Volk. The land is then tapped for a blue and a green, with Fernando using the green on an ignoble Hierarch. The Dork resolves and Fernando gives him haste from the Rhythm. With him still having 3 mana, he then casts his commander, Najila, who also gains haste. 
He then heads to combat and sends Najila and the newly created warrior at Minsk, while the monkey heads at Micah. Rob does have a response, as he casts a moment's piece to fog the turn and actually prevent the monkey from pilfering any treasure. Micah is playing quick, but his hand sure is slow, as he has another forest and casts a guardian project. Rob untaps and heads straight to combat. He sends the 9-7 hamster at Fernando, who takes the hit, with Rob on his second main down taking Minx to sacrifice Boo to drop Fernando down to 2 and draw Rob 9 cards. Also the Rancor does come back when the hamster is sacked. He then plays a firelit thicket and then casts a Llanowar Elves. He exiles a Simeon Spirit Guide for a red and casts a Talisman of Impulse. He's a little too hasty as he tries to then cast a Gruul Signet, but the table reminds him with the Manglehorn out his artifacts enter tapped, and he passes after that. Hidden plays a forest and is one mana short from his dino, then heading to combat. Interesting question, do you kill Minsk and Boo or do you kill Fernando? He might be able to win next turn. Why does this thing have to cost, oh, this thing has to cost 7 freaking mana, I'm only at 6. Ultimately, Hidden is afraid of a sneaky win and decides to send his Minglehorn at Fernando to take him out, with Hidden on his second main gambling. Hidden has an inkling of what to get but is worried about losing the card. He does finally pick one and has Fernando randomly shuffle his hand while Micah discards a Twin Flame. And yes, that was what Hidden had tutored for, although he certainly didn't admit it at the table. Micah plays a forest and casts a basically free nature's lore as he grabs another untapped forest. He casts Solvala and draws off the Guardian project as the creature enters. Rob on his upkeep gets back his boo. He then plays a mountain and after sacrificing his two lands to the lumberjack needs more mana as he casts a Kodama's reach. He puts a forest into play and another to his hand. He then upticks Minx to put more counters on boo and then Rob reapplies his rancor as well. He heads to combat and sends the 6-4 at Micah, who decides to block it with his face. Hidden untaps and does have the land he needs. He plays a Yabamaya Cradle of Growth and taps out for his commander Atali. The dino resolves and on each beat exiles cards off the top of each player's library till they reveal a fog from Rob, a relic of Progenitus from Micah, and a very spicy heat shimmer from Hidden. He doesn't cast the fog and gets a token copy of Itali from the Heat Shimmer. So the fun begins all over again with another Itali trigger. Hidden does sacrifice the token due to the legend rule, but is still happy as he gets a greater good from Micah, a Kazool from Rob, and an Eternal Witness from himself, with Hidden getting back his Twin Flame from the Ewit. Hidden then ends his turn with combat as he turns his Manglehorn at Minx which Rob responds by flashing back his moments piece to fog everything again. And at his end step, Micah channels a Besage you to destroy the greater good and grab Hidden at Taiga. Micah plays another forest and for seven casts a Woodfall Primus. With this, we do realize Hidden should have drawn a card off Savala as the Woodfall enters, triggering the Guardian Project and his ETB to target Minx. And man, was Hidden happy he did not have that greater good with Micah ending his turn drawing off his project. Rob draws and plays a forest. He spends most of his mana to recast his commander Minsk. He follows that up with a regrowth to get back his giant growth and heads to combat, sending his hamster at Micah for 6. Although when no blockers are declared, Rob does cast his giant growth to make it 9 instead. With him on his second main fleeing the hamster to kill the Itali and draw him 9 more cards. Hidden isn't actually that worried about his dino being dead, as he casts a twin flame targeting his eternal witness. He holds priority and casts a dual caster mage to copy the spell, letting him get a new dual caster mage which gives him infinite hasty creatures, winning him the game. Well looks like the dino is back and still crushing it. Micah did mention he had the win next turn with either an Umber Mantle or a Staff of Domination, so it was good Hidden went off when he did. Also one thing that wasn't mentioned was it was also fortunate that Rob tapped out, as he was holding up another fog that would have fizzled Hidden's plan. 
but it turns out getting to cast a bunch of free spells off the top is really powerful. And a big beefy dino as backup is also really good. But it was really cool to see the hamster do so much work. I had definitely underestimated this pairing when I first saw it, but oh boy, can it really bring the pain. Also, as a reminder, I am a community ambassador for Monarch Media. And while I can't say anything just yet, they are back and are ready to create quality CDH tournaments and events. So if you're interested in finding out more, check the links down below. And thanks for making it to the end of the video. So I'll catch you guys later. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know that we have a TCG affiliate link. And if you ever see a card you want to try or are inspired to brew something new, use our link when purchasing and we'll receive a small portion of the sale. This is a great way to support the channel. And if you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps us keep making videos. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.